Hi ladies, this is Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations and I am here to show you guys the, um, oh my gosh, I just lost my whole brain, the snippet roll created by Miss Rose Alcala, Rosie Posey. Um, I know I shared it the other night in the live um, with some of the girls, but I did tell Rose I would come on and do a separate video um, on my YouTube channel for the kit. Um, it came in a nice envelope, and it's wrapped in this nice um, bubble wrap. She packages everything so nicely, and it's going to be a little loud. So I'm sorry for the crinkling and stuff, but I did want to show you guys how it's going to come to you. I know a few ladies ordered. I did want to let you know there are still two kits available. I'm sure once this video goes up, they are going to go very quickly. So if you are interested, you can reach Rose um, on her Facebook at Rose Alcala. I'll put her information in the description box below. Or if you can't get a hold of her, you can leave me a message on Facebook and I will get it to Rose as well. Um, I know it's $35 through um, PayPal. Um, she will invoice you, so if you are interested in one, again, you can reach Rose or you can reach me, and I will leave that uh, information in the description box. But this is how um, beautifully the kit comes packaged in this nice bag, and I'm sorry for my lighting. I don't know what is up lately. I have two lights on right now, so I obviously need to get a different kind of lighting set up in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I did pack it all back up so neatly after... I showed it the other night because I wanted it to look exactly the same way when I took it out. And everything is all packaged in its own bags. And then it says, thank you for your purchase. It's greatly appreciated. I did not purchase it. It was gifted to me. I will be designing um, this kit for Miss Rose. So... Let's see, where do I want to start? Let's start with the little embellishment bag because this one's always a fun one. And I'm going to bring my camera in closer just so you can see. That's as close as I can get. I'm going to pull everything out to show you. Oh, there, that's right. There's little bitty things in here. I have to be careful. So you're going to get this gorgeous. And I'm going to pull up just some of the pieces on here so you can see. So there's this beautiful rose that is cut out of fabric and it is starting to like get tattered which is really cool for a snippet roll and then you get this beautiful white rolled rose and this um i want to say peachy but it's not a deep peach it's a very subtle peach and then these two little bitty um doilies <laughs> which are just eeny beeny so let's put that over and then you get these flowers. You see, there's all different kinds, so I'm going to pull them up. And they're all so gorgeous. This is a white one, and it's got a little bling on it. And then this is a metal one with little pinkish purple stones in it. It's really pretty. And then this beautiful paper flower. And then this um, little resin rose, which is super pretty. I love all the little embellishments, and you get a lot of them. And then, of course, you get some buttons because what snippet roll yeah, doesn't have buttons? Buttons are always awesome. We all love buttons. I know I do. So here are all the gorgeous buttons that you're going to get. They're all beautiful. And it's a variety of colors. This one's really cool. So yes, these all can be used in your snippet roll. And then you're going to get these... I know there's some that are by themselves somewhere. These safety pins. One's a bulb pin and one's a regular safety pin, but they are very vintage looking. Look at the color. They're gorgeous. And then you're going to get this little hanger and this key. So cute. Holding them way up high so you guys can see. You get this beautiful dove and then you get a close pin. And then she even put some of the charms on the bulb pins. One's almost like a Celtic pin and then a bulb pin. And you get this beautiful owl and the Eiffel Tower. Now, I, I'm not 
absolutely sure if all the charms and stuff are the same. I want to say they are, but they could be different. So I'm just going to leave it at that for now. But those will be beautiful in the snippet roll. And then this one, which is also hanging on a pin, which is a little bitty um, dangle. Look at that little thing. It's so sweet. It's so pretty. Love it. And then you get this beautiful. It's like a flat back pearl with the little bling around it. And then you get these little teeny tiny buttons, which are absolutely... Oh, and they jump really quick, so be careful. Those teeny tiny little buttons, and one's in like a vintage peach color, a brown, and a green. They're all very vintage colors. Very pretty. So those are all the embellishments, and because I know how I am, I'm going to pack, come back in the bag, and they all come in this little organza bag, which is really sweet. So we're going to put it all back in there, because I know what will happen, and how I am with stuff. I'll go, I'll just move it to the side. Mm-hmm, that won't happen. And I especially don't want to lose the little bitty buttons. I can't even pick them up. I'm telling you, I need my nails back. All right. Oh my goodness. All right. All safely back in the bag. All right. So that's all your little embellishments. And then you're going to get these little appliques that she actually put in like a half of a bag for you. And I think she left everything white so that you could tea stain it or avocado dye it or coffee stain it. Whatever you'd like to do. That's that's probably why she left everything white. So you get all of those. They're so cute. Just tiny little embellishments. So we're going to stick them right back in this paper. Oh, see, there's me already doing it all wrong. Let's get it back in here how it goes. Stay there. All right. One, two, and these three. I'll go in there. That's those. And then we come to this bag, which is the appliques. This is a beautiful, beautiful kit. She just creates beautiful kits. She's doing such an awesome job. So you get this beautiful applique. It's got beading and sequins all over it. It's just, it's beautiful. And again, these can all be tea stained or avocado dyed or coffee dyed. And then you get this one, which has some beading on it. Beautiful. Love these beads. And this one, which is a flower. And then these two. And I probably will be coloring mine. I'm not going to tell you what yet. <laughs> so we're going to put all those back. I just love how she puts everything in all little separate bags for you. Oh, well, let's show you this. So then she gives you this little bag that says a little something. And I, this has got to be a stamp. I'm not sure, but that is gorgeous writing because I'm all about penmanship. Um, it took me years to practice. Trust me, when I was little, I couldn't write at all. And I, I have awesome penmanship now. So it's a little gift. And on the front, it's a little charm. And it says, handmade with love. I know you probably can't see that. I don't know why everything looks so dark. And then she made you this gorgeous charm with a little lobster claw. And it's got a little uh, bicone and a butterfly and another bicone and a bead cap and then a pearl bead. It's like on a, it almost looks like it was a stick pin. I'm not sure, but I know she made this, I believe. And it's just another little thing you can add to it or add to something else. But it's gorgeous. It's just a little thank you gift. A little something extra from her. Which she did in the last kit as well. And I'm going to put that right back in there so I don't lose it. And then we have another bag of goodies. So we have this beautiful piece of um, lace trim. 
And this can all be cut up and used how you want. And then this gorgeous piece. And I believe she said, now everybody can make them the way they want, but I think she said this one might be the one she said would, would be to wrap around it. I'm not sure. Or to go along the edge, but it is stretchy. And it's a beautiful, um, again, that, that peachy color. Not like a bright peach. It's almost like a pink peach. So we're going to roll that back up. I don't want it to get all bent out of shape. Oh my goodness. Sorry, ladies. Trying to keep it together a little bit. And then you get this little piece, which is really cool. I love this because you could put uh, one of the appliques on here and one of the charms on here, and it could be a little uh, like snippet piece in there. So that's that. And then I know she said this one was to go along an edge if you wanted to. That's why it's such a long piece which is just a beautiful braided, it's just gorgeous pattern, and it's like got a shine to it. It's really pretty. Love it. So there's two pieces of this, so I'm guessing this is to go up and down the sides of the snippet roll, if you would like. And then you have this one, which this one might be the one she said to tie it. But again, you can do it how you would like, but I'm guessing that's why there's some long pieces in here. So that's that. I'm going to put this right back the way it was because I'm terrible. I want to keep everything together. So I'm going to wrap this back around like that. Oh my goodness. And then you have these beautiful organza flowers. One with the colors and two that are white. And again, these can be colored. And then this applique, beautiful, again, can be colored. And then some doilies. So we have these, I love these kind of doilies. I call them like spider doilies. This is really pretty because you can add stuff to this one as well. And then more doilies. This one's really pretty. Again, you can add another piece of applique to it, a charm to it, some buttons on it, whatever you'd like to do. Oh, and that one, this one too would be good if you wanted to sew some buttons on it. That would look awesome. And then these two big doilies. This one's gorgeous. Well, they both are. This one's raised. So it's dimensional. So these are both beautiful. So you can cut them apart if you'd like into snippet pieces or cut this this one out however you'd like to do it that's you know it's it's your kit it's your choice so this is all the gorgeous goodies that you're getting in it and wait do you see the snippet roll you'll understand why things are done the way they are so you get a lot of stuff with this kit and what's nice is this kit is great for somebody that hasn't made one before, and you'll see why in a minute. So this is the main part of the kit. And for anybody that hasn't made a snippet roll before, the hardest part is the spool and making the piece that goes on the spool. That's always what I struggle with. So what's awesome about this kit is there's the spool. It's already stained for you and everything. And then she also puts it together for you. So you have this gorgeous fabric on the inside that's all like sewn, that is uh, embroidered with the, these flowers all over it. It's gorgeous. And then this is the back side, which is beautiful. So we've got this beautiful trim that has these like puffy raised flowers all along it. Isn't that pretty? And then this beautiful... Um, trim which is a dangle trim see the dangles that's just gorgeous so this is already done for you so you are, you don't have to worry about figuring out what you're going to use for this it's already done so all you have to then do is take all the goodies that she gave you and put them on your snippet roll and then close it up and this I love the way she left this end here like this that's awesome 
So you can tie it, you can put a button on it, however you want to close this thing up when it's done. So, and then when it's done, you roll it up this way. And you can make a hanger for it or whatever you want. And then it looks like that with all the dangles. It is just, it's gorgeous. I just absolutely love it. I cannot wait um, to start decorating mine and working on it. Hopefully, uh, I think we're going to try and do this early next week. Um, because we want to wait till everybody gets theirs in case they want to craft along. But um, that is the snippet roll. And I love that it's already stained and everything, the spool and everything's already stained for you. And you can put a doily on here, a flower on here. You know, you can by all means pull out your own stuff and add it too. You know, but it does come with um, a good amount of everything for you to create this snippet roll. Because if you start adding too much, then it doesn't tend to want to close. So you don't want it. Mine tend to be really bulky. I have a problem with, you know, keep adding more. Um, but you can make them as detailed as you want or as not. Um, it, it just depends on how you like it. I just like that the basics are already done for you, which makes it so much easier. You can actually just sit and start applying your stuff onto your snippet roll. So I just think that's an awesome idea. So again, like I said, there are... As I know of right now, there are two of these kits available. Um, you can contact me or you can uh, get a hold of Rose Alcala. Alcala, that's how you say it. Um, and she will uh, get, get you invoiced and get a kit out to you. So like I said, there are only two left. So I know um, uh, quite a few people have already ordered before they they've even seen the kit so they wanted to make sure they got one so there are two of these available um and again we will be doing um a tutorial on how we put ours together me and sierra um i don't know we'll probably be doing them together most likely if not we'll each do a tutorial on how we put our snippet roll together but i know we want to do it so the other ladies can join in and craft along if they'd like so um again this is the snippet roll from rose alcala um rosie posy as we call her um, and it is $35 that, that includes the shipping. And just, uh, like I said, you can contact me or her. I'll put all the information in the description box below and, uh, can't wait to make these for you ladies and see how they turn out. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. We do do a lot of things on this channel and Sierra's channel. We're always making and working on something. So, um, again, this is the kit. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful kit. You get so many amazing and gorgeous things in this kit to complete this snippet roll where you, if you are a first-time person, you don't need to go outside and find anything else because this kit comes with so much stuff that you have plenty of stuff to do this snippet roll. So this, this is the full kit and you can just work with this. So thank you all for watching. I hope you like the snippet roll. And if you haven't got it and you're going to get it, good luck. Um, and I will see you all soon. Don't forget to get out there and create something. Okay, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.